Welcome back to another video. My name is Junior Garcia from The Carpenter's Touch. And before anything, guys, I want you to hammer the like button, turn on the post notifications, and subscribe and leave the comments below. Hey guys, welcome to another remodel. We are in another remodel. Keep watching, keep watching. So guys, the story behind this project, it's been long in making. Uh, this project has probably been in the wraps roughly about eight months, right? Um, so what happened was uh, we gave our client a price for James Hardy siding, installing the roofing and the windows, right? But when they removed the siding, she found out that she had asbestos. In the state of New Jersey, it's a no-no. You cannot remove asbestos. So you gotta get a certified state guy to come and remove the asbestos. So she had to delay the project because we had to find an asbestos guy. That was one. Then the second delay that we had was that she ordered the windows from, uh, how would I like to say in a nice way, a home improvement center, right? So the home improvement center ordered the windows. So the windows, the first uh, delivery, they came damaged. The second delivery, they came damaged again. And then now they finally got the third delivery. So remember, in the span of all that time has been six to eight weeks before they would get the window, six to eight weeks before they can get the other windows, and so forth and so forth. So they finally got the window. We're now in spring and we're ready to start the project. Now we're in the back section of the home. So you're, you're looking at this window and you're saying, hey, oh, there's a nice new window there. But before that window, there used to be a patio door there. And then also it used to extend itself with a deck. So the client decided to remove the deck and say, Junior, I don't want a patio door there anymore. Frame that out and install my windows. Now, as you're looking, there are Anderson 400 series black windows, black on the inside, black on the outside, right? So also, we came alongside this and we started removing all the damaged plywood. But let me show you over here what happened. The client used to have steps here, right? There were concrete steps, but he would always get leaks underneath these steps. We removed the plywood and we saw, we saw all the, the, the rot that was there. So we went inside the basement and we supported the whole basement and we removed the double top plate and installed the new double top plate and then added br brand new plywood. So let me take you to the side of the house. No corte ese cable. Yo, yo, yo. No corte ese cable. Woo. I am. We're here at the side of the house. So I want to tell you that this is not just going to be regular James Hardy lap siding. It's going to be board and batten. So they went with mountain sage. It's a green color. So all those people that are into green, this is the house you're going to want to watch when we're done, right? But they are complementing everything with the black window so it can kind of pop out. And then the trim around the window is still going to be a green trim, which is mountain sage. So I love for everyone to kind of see how everything is now before so they can actually be surprised when the job is done. Now we're back in the front, right? So I wanted to show the detail of this overhang. So it was supposed to be a, a simple overhang, but they wanted this to be a focal point of their home. Why? They didn't have an overhang. We framed that overhang out. They want me to, to have this wrapped in wood. So now when they stain it, it looks like cedar. So obviously this is not finished. We're gonna get columns here two columns, and then we're gonna wrap every single piece of lumber and then install soffit here so they can stain it in cedar. Great thing about technology is that today is day three for me, but for you, it's day one. So guys, I forgot something, right? I forgot to mention that we're installing gutters. So the gutters is gonna complement the windows. The windows, as you can see, they're black. The gutters are going to be black. And then on rainy days, 
we're gonna be installing all the interior trim. Okay, so now I'm really done, guys. Trying to take a break. Hey guys, we're finally back here. It's fast forward to three weeks, right? So when you saw this house, we threw the hammer in front of the house. The house thumbs down. But now the house is double thumbs up. So let me show you what we did to this house. So the first thing that we did, we did the roof. We did a GAF complete system, roof. Also, we installed the windows. They were Anderson uh, 400 series black windows. Um, and also we did an overhang. If you look right behind me, we built out that whole overhang and the client, they stained it themselves. And then now the final thing that we did was we did James Hardy board and batten. So it's mountain sage and the battens are mountain sage. The soffit is black. And then we, our final touches was to add black gutters and black leaders. So we're finally done at this project. The customer is super, super excited. Uh, hopefully they'll be inviting us to a barbecue in a couple more weeks, right? Hammer the like button, subscribe, turn on the post notifications, leave the comments below for more content like this. Now, I'm gonna show you more details of this home.